Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today, we're gonna continue doing these little konga workouts and today we're gonna do something called a lazy workout. Yeah, let, let, let's get into this. Welcome to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. I do hope they enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload videos that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, just the comments, the suggestions. Man, you gotta love it. Seriously, I can never stop being so grateful for each and every one of you that's continued to support this channel throughout this whole, whole journey. So for today's video, we're gonna do something which is really like a lazy type of workout, but it's really not lazy, but it's kind of lazy because you have a place to be lazy. Yeah, let me uh, kind of show it to you. And like the other videos, I'm gonna show it in parts. Now this exercise works best if you have three drums, but again, you can definitely do it if you just have two or even if you just have one drum. Again, you just have to be creative with it. So for the first part, and you're gonna see it's very similar to a tumbao, but for the first part, what we're gonna do is a bass, finger, and then a close slap. So a bass with your non-dominant hand, finger with your non-dominant hand, and then a close slap with your dominant hand, all on the conga. And it's gonna sound like this. So that's part one. Now for part two, what we're gonna do is a finger, bass, finger, all with our non-dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put part one and part two together. So that's part one and part two, and believe it or not, that's the lazy part. This is the part where you get to rest and kind of reset and, you know, kind of relax. But for part three, this is where it gets kind of creative and intense and depends really on you. But what follows is basically an open with your dominant hand, open with your non-dominant hand, and open with your dominant hand, then another open with your non-dominant hand. So that's four opens, and it's gonna sound like this. Now here's the thing, we're not going to be playing that part at that speed. We're actually going to be playing twice as fast as part one and part two. So to kind of show it to you putting all parts together, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, it's about to get crazy up in here. But again, as I mentioned in my previous video in regards to these workouts, the, the hard part isn't getting the workout. The hard part is to continue doing the workout. So literally right after doing those four opens, since you're ending with your non-dominant hand as an open, remember we started with a bass with our non-dominant hand on the conga. So you have to be able to kind of start all over again smoothly without kind of losing that tempo. And again, we're kind of continuing the feeling of a tumbao. So to kind of show you that, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, like I mentioned, lazy workout. 
but it's so much fun and it challenges you and also helps you understand kind of like breathing and where you are able to take a rest which is going to be believe it or not in that bass finger slap part because all your attention is going to be in those four opens so you're gonna kind of try to absorb all your energy in that last part and then kind of rest in part one and part two now to add a second drum the best place that you would want to put this is actually in that third part which is going to be those four opens but that first open since we're starting it off with our dominant hand on the conga just start it off with one open with your dominant hand on the tumba which is going normally going to be in your dominant side so you would kind of start it off there and then go back here or you know keep on in, you know interchanging between your dominant here non-dominant really depends on you but to kind of hear that's gonna sound like this or you could do something like this I personally prefer the first one of those because the timing that I need to come back here to do that third open here with my dominant hand, you know, it's a challenge. So I love things like that. So to kind of play that in full speed, it's gonna sound like this. Yes, it can definitely get interesting. Now, to add a third drum, I normally put my third drum to my non-dominant side, so the best place to do it is again, start off with the first open to your dominant side, and then your second open, which is your non-dominant hand, do it to your non-dominant side, and then come meet back in the middle. So it'd be open, 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 open. Best place to do it. So to kind of hear that example, it's gonna sound like this. Now to play it all the way through and incorporate just one drum, two drums, three drums, it's gonna sound like this. Don't be afraid to be creative with this. Those last four notes, you could change them to anything else. You could change them to an open with three open slaps or an open with three muffs or all closed slaps. It really depends on you how you wanna challenge yourself. But again, the point is that little part, that little bass finger slap part, that's the part where you wanna focus your time to rest and then kind of revert your energy back into those last four notes where it can get pretty intense. But to get creative with it, it's gonna sound like this. Thank you. 
But again, guys, take your time with these workouts. They're meant to kind of get you warmed up, get you kind of energized to get the day going. And yeah, all that good stuff. But all right, y'all, really do hope you guys enjoy this video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.